All right, here's another problem we can solve without touching our calculator. So we have 20 milliliters of 3.0 molar HCl. Okay. And then we mix that with 20 milliliters, same volume, of 5 molar sodium hydroxide. And then we want to find out is when you mix the two together, the resulting solution, that is the solution after you mix everything, is it acidic or basic? or neutral, above 7, below 7, or 7. Well, first thing you need to know is the balanced equation because there's a reaction that occurs. Well, we know that HCl reacts with sodium hydroxide. What does it form? Oh, the same thing. We've had it form forever. It makes some sodium chloride and water. Okay. So this is all balanced up, two hydrogens, two hydrogens, a chlorine, a chlorine, a sodium, and a sodium. So it's balanced. So what this means is that the, the mole to mole ratio between HCl and sodium hydroxide is one to one. So that means for every mole of HCl, you're going to react with a mole of sodium hydroxide. So let's look at this in light of the whole idea of limiting reactant. So which have we added more moles of? 20 milliliters of a 3 molar solution for HCl or 20 milliliters of a 5 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Well, if we look at this, we know that we've added more moles of hydroxide ion than we have of HCl. The volumes are the same, 20 and 20, but notice that the concentration of the sodium hydroxide is 5.0. So that means that even though the, the volumes are the same, the fact that the sodium hydroxide is more concentrated means that there's been more moles of sodium hydroxide added. Well, remember they're going to neutralize each other until the reagent in excess. So all of this hydrochloric acid is going to get neutralized. because there's, It's the limiting reactant. There's nothing left. And I can figure that out without even touching my calculator. Why? I know that I've added more moles of sodium hydroxide than I have HCl. Since it's a one-to-one -one mole ratio, that tells me that when it's all said and done, we have leftover sodium hydroxide. There are more moles of sodium hydroxide than I need to react, that it, than, than I have HCl to react with it. So since there's leftover sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide is a base. That means that that solution is going to have a pH greater than 7. It's a basic solution. Remember, S-O-L apostrophe N is an abbreviation for solution.